Hello friends, the name of my story is Poems for Little Ears by Kate Cox Goddard. Miss Lisa goes to school sometimes and my teacher, Miss Marge, said, get this book. It's a great book for children to hear poems. And we've read some of these poems in our class and you liked it, so I thought I would read some of them today. The name of my poem, the first poem, is Busy Boy. There are no illustrations in this story, so you'll just have to use your imagination to picture some of the illustrations. In my own yard, I always play. I never, never run away. I found the nicest things to do. They keep me very busy, too. In early spring, I look about to see the snowdrops popping out. I lift the wet leaves off each day. My wagon carries them away. Then later on, I get a rake. A shovel and a hoe I take. Prepare a place to plant my seeds and hope that they won't grow up weeds. In summer, in my bathing suit, I take my dad's big hose and shoot the water gently all around to give a drink to the dry ground. My mother has a bowl of blue. I keep it filled for her, I do. I pick fresh flowers every day. They make her bedroom look so gay. And when fall comes the leaves I rake, oh, you should see the pile I make. I run and jump in them, you see, and my dog Pat jumps after me. I gather pine cones for, you know, they make our autumn fires glow. And when the winter comes round, I shovel snow from off the ground. I keep our front step very neat so snow won't track in on our feet. There are so many things to do, and it's fun to be helpful, too. I haven't time to run away. I'm much too busy every day. That was called The Busy Boy. This one is called The Party. I know you like parties. One day an invitation came. It was addressed in my own name and said a party there would be. And could I come Tuesday at three? And mother wrote and said I could and made me promise to be good. I licked the stamp, put on my coat, and all alone I mailed the note. And then each morning I would say, is this the birthday party day? Until my mother said it was, and I was very glad because I wanted very much to go. You know, I do love ice cream, so. I started to get dressed at two. First my foot went in the wrong shoe. And both my legs got caught, you see, because my pants were all squeegee. I washed my face two times that day. And mother said, now don't go away. Your fingernails I've got to clean. Really, such dirt I've never seen. And last I started toward the stair, but mother said, please brush your hair. Now I had brushed it carefully, but only in the front, you see. So back I went wet every speck until the drop stripped down my neck. By then I thought I wouldn't go, remembered the ice cream, and so. I kissed my mother, reached the door, and she said, Jimmy, one thing more. Now do be sure and be polite. Remember, shake hands with your right. By all the time, twas like a dream, cause I was thinking of ice cream. Don't you love that one? And the last one is called Growing Up. At last I am most nearly four. I'm not a baby anymore. What do you think I did today? You won't believe me when I say, I took a bath quite all alone. So now you see I'm nearly grown. My mommy watched and so she knows. I slipped out of my underclothes. Then sat down slowly in the tub, squeezed out the cloth I could scrub behind my ears and round my neck to wash the dirt, yes, every speck. But when I got down to my knees, I said to mother, will you please give me a brush? These won't get clean. So I soaked well around and in between. And when all of the work was done, I knew it was time to have some fun. So I laid down upon my back, floated around and said, quack, quack. For I felt like a duck, you see, but all the time I knew it was me. And then I lay the water out and washed the ring that comes about, the bathtub, for I'm very neat. And when I stood up on my feet, 
pulled down a towel with great care, for there were others hanging there. I dried myself till I was pink with rubbing. Then what do you think? I took Mommy's big powder puff and dabbed on more powder than enough. I patted it in every crack, all up my front and down my back. I put my jammas on at last. Now don't you think I worked so fast? From now on, I will bathe alone. You see, I'm four and nearly grown. Don't you just love that? Maybe we should do just one more. Dancing school. Now, dancing school is lots of fun. When I go in, I always run and hang my coat up on a hook so I can find it when I look. Next, I put on my slippers new, the way the other children do. I primp a bit before the glass and make a curtsy as I pass. I ask if my sash is all right. I like to know it's knotted tight. The teacher opens wide the door. I walk across the ballroom floor, hold out my skirts on either side. You see, I've practiced and I've tried to make the proper kind of bow, and so I know exactly how. The music then begins to play and the teacher starts to bend and sway. We do the steps she's done in turn, for that is the real way to learn. We watch and do the same as she, although not quite so gracefully, my hair ribbon flops up and down, and teacher drops her widespread gown. Then I ride and run back across the hall. I run and slide, but I don't fall. Then all the children meet and sit and giggle just a little bit. Tell secrets what we want to do, and what we did all last week, too. We wipe the dewdrops we're so hot from all of our foreheads every drop. And when the music plays once more, and we run back across the floor, our tippy toes right out we go. The music plays first fast, then slow. I shake my head, toss back my hair, cause I'm so happy to be there. Oh, I don't like it when it's done, for dancing school is so much fun. And if you notice, there is a boy and a girl. Boys and girls can do dancing classes too. That's called Poems for Little Ears. Have a great day, guys.